okay? <laughs> okay, we've got another story today. And today's story is all about baby. A special kind of baby. A fussy baby, but a very strong baby. And it's called The Avocado Baby by John Burning. One of our favourite authors. Okay, so today's story is all about a little baby, just like you were, just like I was, just like your mum's daddies were. Okay, even the son was a baby once. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Hargreaves and their two children were not very strong. Mrs. Hargreaves was expecting another baby, and they all hoped it would not be as weak as they were. Mrs. Hargreaves has got a little bump. You can just see it in that picture. The new baby was born and all the family were very pleased. Mr. and Mrs. Hargreaves brought the baby home and it grew. But as they feared, it did not grow strong. Mrs. Hargreaves found feeding the baby very difficult. It did not like food or want to eat much. Oh, that's a shame. Oh my goodness. Look at this baby. Mummy's trying to feed it and it won't be fed, will it? Can you see all those pictures? Just get that a bit better for you. Can you see? Oh my goodness. She's trying to feed it in the bath as well. And at bedtime. Oh, and its high chair. It won't have it, will it? Whatever can I do? Well, Mrs. Hargreaves, the baby doesn't like eating anything I make and it looks so weak. Why don't you give it that avocado pear, said the children. Avocado pear. In the fruit bowl on the table, there was an avocado pear. You see it just there. Nobody knew how it got there because the Hargreaves never bought avocados. Mr. Hargreaves cut the pear in half, mashed it, and gave it to the baby, who ate it all up. From that day on, an amazing thing happened. The baby became very strong. Wow. It was getting so strong, it could break out from the straps on its high chair, pull other children uphill in a cart, wrench off the side of its cot. Goodness me, that is strong. Look at all those children in that cart having a ride. And each day, Mrs. Hargreave gave the baby avocado pears. One night, a burglar got into the house. How scary. The baby woke up and hearing the burglar moving about downstairs, leapt out of its cot. The baby picked up a broom and chased the burglar. The burglar was so frightened at being chased by a baby that he dropped his bag and ran out of the house. The next day, Mr. Hargreaves put a notice on the gate. That should keep the burglars away, he said. You see, he's written, beware of the baby. Usually people have signs up for their dogs, don't they? If they've got a vicious dog. The baby would help carry the shopping, move the furniture and push the car where it would not start. My goodness, that is strong. One day, two bullies were waiting for the children in a park. Oh, I don't like bullies. The bullies started being very nasty to the children baby did not like that and jumped out of its pushchair. Oh my goodness, what's he going to do to those children? Oh, he picked up the bullies and, oh my goodness, look, he's going to throw them. Oh my word. They don't look very happy, do they? Well, I'm not surprised, but I'm quite glad because they shouldn't be bullying. Threw them right into the pond. Oh, they got very wet. <laughs> the 
the baby gets stronger every day. And of course, it is still eating avocado pears. Oh, goodness. There's a picture of the baby on the front. Can you see? Lifting up those big weights. Well, one of the ways that we change is through eating healthily. So the baby was eating lots of avocado pears, so that was going to make him very strong. But it's important that we eat lots of fruit and veg. We tend not to call them avocado pears, now we call them avocados. And we have put a recipe for you to make some guacamole, which is a really nice dip that you can make from avocados if you don't want to eat them whole. Okay, so have a go at making some guacamole from your avocados, and I'll speak to you soon. All right, take care, everyone. Bye now.